What's going on you guys? It's Electric Enzo here and the cut on my forehead from a few videos back is finally starting to heal but I still have a band-aid on it so uh, that's what the band-aid's for if you guys were all wondering and uh, today I actually recreated some courses from the National Ninja League World Finals so if you guys didn't know the Elite Division for the National Ninja League World Finals just concluded after about a 10 month season and the World Finals was pretty cool. It had some awesome courses, and I was able to make some replicas in my backyard. So what I did was I took some obstacles from stage one, some from stage two, and some from stage three, and I put them all into one course. So I'm gonna be showing you that course I ran, and I'm gonna be showing you the comparison to the course from the National Ninja League. Congrats to Jay Lewis for winning finals for the men, uh, Isabella Wakem for winning finals for the females. You guys crushed it. I wasn't able to go to finals because I was on vacation, so I decided to make up for it by creating some of these courses in my backyard. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, you guys, so it started with the beginning of stage one, which was some steps to a rope. As you can see, the bathrobe ninja, Josh Auer, is on the right side. And then it was the sendagons, which is just like one simple lache. I used the MakerCraft Spaceman hold to replicate that. And then I used the fifth obstacle from stage one, Park Place, which was some sideways laches. So as you can see on the right, Josh is doing those sideways cliches and I'm using some devil steps, some bunny ears, and some ape hangers to do them. So that's all for stage one. Now it comes the stage two portion. We got starting off with the salmon ladder uh, and then it was into the special deliveries. We got Matt Bradley as our example. So it was lache to one of the pro special deliveries and I actually was lucky enough to have the exact special deliveries that they used. So I had the pro one and then the medium level one. So that's exactly what I did and I dismounted. Uh, that was probably one of the ninja killers on the actual course. Next was the French toast sticks. <laughs> as you can see, I used uh, some Bosu hamburgers, as I like to call them, and had an insane one-handed save. Those Bosus are really floppy when you put them on top of each other, really scary. So that's, first, that's the stage two portion of the course, then moving on to the stage three portion of the course, starting out with the uh, nunchucks, and uh, at center court, the nunchucks, you could barely fit one hand on them, so I have nunchucks just like that, so that worked perfectly. And then it was the canes, which came a little later in the course. So I had a little transfer with the canes, uh, 180, and then dismount. Then next was the center court cliffhanger replication. So uh, started out with just some moves. As you can see, it's pretty similar to the one on the right. We got Jay Lewis, uh, the world champion, for our uh, demonstration for this one. And then we got some transfers like they did there. So transfer down, and then I had uh, a transfer back, and then go down, and the last move, which was one of the ninja killers, was the reverse grab. So I had to reverse grab to that blue cliffhanger, and boom, yeah, there you go, and dismount. So yeah, that reverse grab is definitely tough after that whole course and that whole cliffhanger line, but it was good. Then next was the edge of dreams, or the vertical limit, and I didn't have a vertical limit quite as thin or as tough as the one at finals, so this is what we have to do for this. And basically the next part was just a lache to a swing vertical limit called the cheese wedge, which was basically impossible. So instead I just had a lache to a flying bar cradle because I wanted to make the course that I was running somewhat completable and I didn't really have a swing vertical limit to um, replicate with. And then the final obstacle, I'm not 100% sure, but from what I was told, it is a sky bars move, which is basically a reverse flying bar move. So you're going to see it right here. This was super tough. Uh, I remember I was really struggling to get that move in general, but once I was able to get it down, I'm really happy that I was able to get it at the end of a course. And yep, there it is again in slow-mo showing really what you have to do. And yeah, so that course was really fun to run, you guys. I enjoyed having all the aspects from stage one, two, and three put into one course. And I think we should head right to the outro. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed watching the NNL Finals recreation that I did in my backyard, uh, let me know. Comment down below which obstacle you think was like the closest recreation to the finals. I think I did a pretty good job on some of them. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. See ya.